the advent of the printing press witnessed the development of many new literary forms. One of these was the narrative form, which captivates readers and carries them into an imaginary world of fictitious characters. This new form of writing was appropriately called the novel. The wide circulation of printed copies made the novel a popular genre with people across different strata of society. Novels allowed the reader a private reading experience as well as the joy of public reading. Initially, the cost of publishing novels used to be very high, so they were beyond the reach of the poor. However, with the passage of time, circulating libraries came up and technological innovations in the printing press brought down the prices of printed books. As a result, the novel became one of the first mass-produced items to be sold. The first novels were written in the 17th century, but they actually blossomed in the 18th century. The aristocrats, gentlemanly class, and the upcoming lower middle class became the first readers of novels in England and France. The novel allowed the writers to be financially independent. They no longer relied on aristocratic patronages, so they had the chance to experiment with various styles of writing. For example, Pamela by Samuel Richardson was an epistolary novel written in the form of a series of letters to tell the story. Walter Scott, on the other hand, collected Scottish ballads and used them in his historical novels. In 1836, the reach of novels expanded when Dickens' novel Pickwick Papers was serialized in a magazine where the suspense was built up as the story unfolded slowly. Novels were about everyday lives of ordinary people. They were a mirror to society. Nineteenth century England was grappling with the consequences of industrialization. Dickens aptly depicted the reality of those times in his novels, such as Hard Times and Oliver Twist. Crowded cities underpaid workers, homeless children, and industrial capitalism became common themes in his novels. Similarly, Emily Zola explored the miserable lives of miners in his novel Germinal. Novels also talked about the fast-vanishing rural world. Thomas Hardy another famous author of that time, blended the spoken and the classical language, as a result bringing different people on a common platform. The Mayor of Casterbridge is one of his famous works. The rise of novels also witnessed the active involvement of women as writers and readers. Many novels explored the world of women, their experiences and problems. Jane Austen and Charlotte Bronte, famous for Pride and Prejudice, and Jane Avery were great writers of that time. Their novels depicted the world of women and dealt with the themes of courtship, marriage and money. During this time, writing was not considered an ideal profession for women. So many women writers used false names or pseudonyms. Mary Ann Evans was the popular writer, George Eliot, while Emily Bronte wrote under the pen name Ellis Bell. Specialized novel writing developed for young boys as well. They aroused the adventure of visiting and conquering new lands.
R. L. Stevenson's Treasure Island and Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book are some of the all-time favorites. Due to its engrossing plots, varied themes, lucid language, and easy accessibility, the novel flourished and became an ever-evolving literary form.